today we're going to look at a newer model from Monterey Bay Knives. I do believe this is their first actual slip joint. This is the Iron Horse. They've done double detents in the past, but as far as actual slip joints with a back spring goes, I do believe this is to be the first. So um, I saw them put this on their Instagram and instantly I went for it because I just recently started getting into slip joints, but a knife like this really kind of perked my interest. So I really went for it and I'm glad I did because this actually turned out to be one of my favorite secondary carries. So let's go ahead and do a quick size comparison. Here it is next to a Spyderco Delica as well as a Hogue Deca. So as you can see, it is not big. For some reason, whenever I take photos of it, it looks gigantic, but it's actually a pretty standard size slip joint. Um, here it is next to a couple other slip joints next to my other favorite secondary carry, the Tactile Knives Bexar or Bear. And then we have the American Service Knife, which is kind of like a premium Swiss Army knife made in America. So there you go. So yeah, it's pretty standard size for a slip joint. Um, there are quite a few things about this knife that I really like a lot. Um, fit and finish, I gotta say, is quite good. Uh, whatever mystery OEM, they've not ever really revealed to that, to anyone, like, what the OEM is. And I gotta say, every single Monterey Bay knife I've ever handled, it's always really good. There's, n there's not really a whole lot of stuff to nitpick. Um, and on this one, same thing. We're using modern materials on this thing. You have this bolster right here, as well as the liners, which is made out of titanium, as you can see. And then the back spring, I do believe, is still a steel back spring. Um, the scales are a very nice polished black micarta that looks really good. They also have a carbon fiber version coming out. And not only that, we have a very nice flat ground... Um, K390 blade, as you can see right, if it'll even focus, but it's definitely marked right there underneath the MBK logo. K390, which is one of my favorite, favorite steels. Um, and I've seen in the past, people have actually HRC tested some of Monterey Bay Knives uh, blades because they do use steels like ZDP 189 and stuff like that. And... Lo and behold, a lot of those knives actually came back in the proper range of what that steel should be at. So um, I'm assuming that the K390 is heat treated just as well. And it's honestly not let me down so far because it's still just as sharp as when I unboxed it. And I've not even touched this to a strop yet. So it's done pretty darn well. Um, this thing is disassemblable, if that's even a word, but as you can see, we have some screws for the scales, so you can remove the scales, then you can access, um, the rest of the frame. We have a flathead screw for the pivot, so if you really need to take this thing all the way apart, on slip joints, there's really not a whole lot of need to do that, because a lot of times you can kind of just get some canned air or something like that and blow out anything, or you can get, like, a really small Q-tip or something like that, but... So there's really not a whole lot of need to take it apart, but it's nice that you can take it apart if needed. Um, so yeah, fit and finish, pretty darn good. Ergonomics. Uh, this knife actually is big enough that even choked back all the way right here, I can definitely still get pretty much a full four finger grip. I guess maybe technically about a three and a half because the pinky does kind of start to hang off a little bit but there's definitely enough room right here where you can definitely kind of choke up and then you can definitely get that full four finger um it is a clip point blade so honestly for utility cuts it's not the absolute greatest but the tip doesn't go up way too high so you can kind of still use it and kind of put your finger right there on the on the clip point portion and kind of get do some little pinch cuts or pinch grips sorry and yeah, honestly, ergonomics on this are quite good. Uh, in the pocket, I suppose if you wanted to, you can absolutely just kind of take this and kind of throw it in your pocket, but they do include a very nice burgundy leather slip or sheath because technically this one actually has a little piece of leather that sticks up. It's built in. And then as you can see, there's some stitching holes right there. Me personally, I didn't really want to because it has a belt loop and... I'm not typically a person to wear a knife on my belt, so what I did was I actually kind of 
put it together, kind of cut along this little contour that's on the front of the sheath and kind of just colored it so it kind of matches a little bit better and unstitch this part right here. So that way it is just a nice little pocket sheath and it just, or a pocket uh, slip. And I can just kind of drop it in the either my front or my back pocket and it just disappears very nicely. So nice little compact knife with a high performance blade. Very, very much like carrying this knife. Um, and like I mentioned, the blade, K390, um, very tall flat grind, comes down nice and thin all the way up to the tip. You can kind of feel it getting a little bit more robust near the tip, but it's still very nice, very sharp. Um, yeah, awesome stuff. As far as action goes, um, I'm not a complete expert when it comes to walk and talk and stuff like that, but... Out of the knives that I do own, the slip joints that I own, this one definitely has the strongest back spring, so it definitely has a very nice, strong, and vocal walk and talk. And it's definitely not one of those knives that you can kind of just easily disengage. Um, it's definitely the strongest one. I do like the strength of it. And enough that there is a nail, like a fuller nail nick right there, but the blade sticks out enough where you can definitely kind of just grab it with your finger and kind of just undo it, so... I do like it. Um, can you do it with one hand? Yeah, you can, but it's a little sketchy. I probably wouldn't recommend it. It can be done, but um, you kind of run the risk of maybe having that thing snap back down on you, so I wouldn't really recommend it. So yeah, overall, as far as the whole package goes, I love this thing. This is definitely one of my favorite secondaries, and they just did a fantastic job. Only thing that I would possibly change on this if it was my if it was my baby and I would try to improve it, I would try to maybe kind of knock the sharp edges off of the corners of the liner. But honestly, it's not that bad. It doesn't really hurt the ergonomics or anything like that. It's it's fine. It's really not that big of a deal. Um so yeah, fantastic little slip joint and at only 200 bucks. Um Great value, in my opinion. Get that super steel, nice materials, nice walk and talk. So, yeah, very cool little modern traditional knife. So I do think that MBK definitely knocked it out of the park on this one and can't wait to see what they have coming in store. I really hope they do some more stuff with the K390 because I that is definitely a really awesome steel. So, yeah, with that, that's pretty much all I really have for you for today. Have a good one.